You may be wondering what to write about or what sort of art to create for the River of Words contest coming up. I'm here to give you some ideas. My name is Sarah. I'm a poet, an artist, a teacher, and I also work here for the Center of Environmental Literacy at St. Mary's College of California. I'm here in our legacy garden on campus. The River of Words contest was started to encourage you to create poetry and art that is inspired by your surrounding environment, and in particular, your watershed, in some sort of way. A watershed is a system that separates waters flowing into different rivers, basins, or seas, really anywhere that there's a body of water in your local area. It can even be a small creek in your backyard. In the River of Words competition, we are looking for thoughtfully considered ideas, images, language, be specific. What do you see? Think about how you like to write, how you like to paint, what you like to create. Tell us a story with your paintbrush or with your words. It doesn't have to be paint either. Maybe you like to use markers or crayons or colored pencils. Use what you have. Create an experience for the reader or the viewer. Use images that take us on a journey. Or tell us or show us how you feel while you are exploring your local watershed or your environment. Have fun with form, with images, with textures. Really surprise yourself. Try something new. Feature a specific aspect, formation, or ecosystem or organism of nature that really resonates with you. What has caught your eye? Exhibit scientific knowledge of a particular subject that you have learned in your classroom. When you're exploring your environment, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel or smell? Use your senses. Show what no one else sees. You are a unique human being, and what you observe, no one else observes in the same way that you do. Your piece should show us your own unique observations or personal experiences that are specific to you. Finally, speak to an awareness of a global community or a collective consciousness. A poem or artwork can reflect the experiences of a culture or a natural world surrounding you. And now I would like to give you an example of a poem from one of our previous winners from 2020. This poem is titled An Epistle to New Orleans and was written by Ellen from New Orleans, Louisiana. I don't want you to slip away before my kids can sit on the blue bayou bridge and watch old men steer remote control sailboats. Kayaking through your flooded streets, I've wondered what if the water just stayed and rotted through all those hardwood floors? I want to visit you when we're both older and eat nectarines and goat brie on the riverbank at sunset. And when the lights go on at the ballpark behind me, it will be like elementary school summer nights. I want you to be more than crawfish and humid street corners. Coming home, I want to hear the wind chimes of the house with the blue front door and the kumquat tree. Thank you and happy creating. We really look forward to experiencing the environments that you live in through your poetry and art. If you have any questions, please ask your teachers. They will guide you through this journey of exploring your local watershed.